and Deadpool. Hey guys, Marvel Animations here with another figure review, this time with the Marvel Legends Epic Heroes Deadpool. I just want to say thank you guys for the likes and subscribes, and now I'm up to, I think it's 30 subscribers, which is amazing. Now, uh, you saw an animation at the start of the video, yes, that is my animation, here's the brick. And this is quite unique, if you look at the animation again, you'll see I have this in it as well. Anyway, the figure itself is amazing, and I will be covering that in this video. To start off, we have the box. The box is really nice. You've got Deadpool at the top, and you may not see it clearly what this is at the top, but I'll explain that. And then you see the Epic Heroes, that's the wave or series it's in. And at the very top, you say, see it's Marvel Universe. you got the Deadpool, telling you it's Deadpool. And then Marvel Legends has been in the corner. Then moving on the back side, uh, you got Marvel Universe, Epic Heroes, and you got Deadpool. It's a, uh, you know it's a bigger image on the front one. Uh, you got X twenty three over here in like a love heart shape. Anyway, and this is actually Doctor Doom. It's like a figurine of him, and then he's got like his own figurine there, as you see. But that's a Doctor Doom figure, and he's just popping off the head. I uh, think that, I can't remember what comic it was from, but I definitely remember the hatred between the two. Uh, but yeah, you got the US agent, Marvel Knights, which is Punisher, Iron Man, Doctor Doom, Deadpool, X Mutants, which is, you know, uh, Mystique, as I always say in my, always, in my past previous two videos, uh, about the other figures in the wave. If you are looking to get this figure, I recommend you get it on eBay or Amazon. I got this figure on eBay for $52, which to me seems reasonable seeing how it sold out ages ago and seeing how everyone wants it. I managed to get it in the box and all that stuff, which was pretty nice as well. There are also two versions of this in this one series. There is the red one, and then there is a the gray one, which it says on the box. Sort of like the Doctor Doom, it says he's green. But he's actually like white. His cloak and all that's white and all that. It's really confusing, but you know, that's what happens. Also, there's an X-Men version of this figure, which is really cool. It's like a turquoise and yellow, which is amazing. I'm looking to get all three of them. Hopefully, I can do an animation on it just like I did at the start of the video. Now, with that being said, let's check out the articulation. Starting off, we have the head articulation, which is very nice. You know, you got the up, down. He does go that far down and he does go like that far up his head can move left you know right all the way around you know that sort of thing however the head does not pop off so if any of you are trying to do it in animation all that don't waste your time also I do want to point this out with my figure it's got some marks there on the neck but you know I bought this off eBay and the guy didn't want to return and all that stuff, but uh, I'm going to complain to Hasbro because of that. I don't know why that was found on his neck, but you know, that that was my figure only. It's not on any other one. Um, it's just on this figure only. Now moving down, we have the arms. I've got to say, this is like Spider-Man weird in a way because, you know, you got that that rotating bit just there. I'm not used to those, but I can get used to them, I would say. Uh, we got the arm going up, you know, you got that bicep swivel, which is nice. And again, you got the double joint elbow, which is easily accessible, unlike the Iron Man one. If you don't know the Iron Man one, check out my previous video, because that was my previous video. Also, the hand, it's quite nice. You got two different hands, by the way. One's the trigger hand, and one is, like... I'd say what a good one for holding the katana, uh, you know, the sword, if you don't know what katana means. Also, the hand goes up like that. Hand also goes all the way down, which is quite nice. Going across, we got this ab crunch, which I love. I love ab crunches, you know, because I'm used to them because of wrestlers. So, you know, it goes all the way down. You hear that clicking noise, which sounds really annoying, but when you're doing animations, it's great. Because it tells you, you know, when you've moved it, whereas like resting figures, it doesn't have that click. So, you know, you don't know whether you moved or not, which is a pain in the butt. But yeah, it's also got a hip rotation, which is really nice. Um, but the one thing I really don't like is probably this middle bit here. It's, you know, it's attached to the, uh, 
belt he has with his logo and all that stuff. Which I don't like because I don't really like this because the Deadpool I know did never have this. But like I look at the original comics he does. You know I was thinking of removing it. But I didn't think it would look that nice. Moving further down we have the leg which is nice. It comes with this uh you know this sort of clip on thing for the gun which is nice. You know just like a I don't know what these are called I completely forgot. Uh, but the garden could go in and out, sort of like the Punisher one, however, this one is removable, which is really nice, you know, you can just slip this right off, but I'm going to put it back on his leg, because I like this thing, right, and uh, now, again, I always complain about these, um, and you can't really see it that well, but, you know, it, it happens, I'm just going to try and make possible see... If you see, you know how they always have those leg joints. Uh, this one, you know, you can't do it all the way up. You gotta turn it, and that ruins the design of the leg, which is a pain. And then you gotta turn the arm, the turn the leg, and then all that. You gotta keep turning it, and that's a pain for me. I prefer the new Marvel Legends, and I hope they make a new one of this. You know, the Deadpool, but you know, a fix to the legs. I also prefer the Toy Biz ones because they didn't have that. Even though some of them didn't have ab crunches, they you know they didn't have that problem. He's got a double jointed knee, which is nice. Um, however, it looks really weird because it's just sticking out. It looks like he's got some shit pads on his knees, basically knee pads. Uh, his toe, he's got an ankle pivot, which is really nice. Charmus Prime loves ankle pivots. Um, He's done a review on this. He loves this figure. He does. He prefers the Toy Biz one, but I, I haven't got the Toy Biz one. But I'm looking to get it. So this has goes down, swivels all the way around. You know that sort of stuff. All the average thing, which is really nice, and all that, which is you know good for this figure. Now let's move on to accessories. He has one of these stands. He fits on them. He fits on the stand, which, unlike the other figures in the series, which I've done a review on, which don't fit on the stands, which is stupid, but, you know, he's the only one that fits. He also has his own gun, and what I like about this gun is he has a sort of his own logo on it. If I can just focus that. Sorry, my camera is always a pain when it comes to focusing. Um... I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one, but you can see that red, which is really nice. It's meant to, you know, resemble his mask and all that stuff. See there, see the red. Yeah, that's his mask. Then we got two katanas. They can come out the case, which is nice. Uh, it doesn't have any words or anything. That's just a reflection of a light. Um, but that is just amazing. You've also got these little yellow uh you got these little yeah as you saw it you got those little yellow uh or goldish sorry my bad goldish stripes of things which are nice uh but my camera is being a pain and won't allow me to do it but yeah he has those which are amazing he comes with two of those katanas then last accessory he comes with is this gun now it's sort of like the Punisher gun that Punisher comes with however this one's just you know black throughout the whole thing um, and you know that's it just black throughout the whole thing wait my, fo my focus is now working hopefully yeah we go there's the gold stripes sorry my camera was just being a pain and wasn't allowing me also, it has those clips, which clip into his back. Now, this is the back of the figure. As you can see, you've got these clips. And the clips are mainly for the swords. You can see they just clip right here, uh, which is nice. Um, and you can just clip them on and clip them off as you like. You know, they're removable, which is nice. Also, if you see that circle bit there, apparently, rumors, apparently, um, if you get a stand from the previous Toy Biz, you know, Marvel Legends stands, I know there's one with the Magneto figure, which is pretty good. You know, you can just plug that in the back. Apparently, it's a rumor, I don't know. Um, or here, 
So it's either uh, it's either there or there that you can do it. Either way, you can do it. Either way, uh, there, there. But these do clip on the back, which is really nice, and I actually like that feature about them, you know, which is really good. Now, because I pretty much finished this figure review, I'm going to talk a bit, little bit more about my animation. Now, as I said in the start of the video, you know, I have this, and if you look back, you see that and all that stuff. Uh, yeah, I did do this animation here, you know, to notice the wall and all that. I did it here, um, and I just had this up against the wall uh, the whole time, like that. Uh, I am trying to get some board for the back, but, you know, it, it, it depends. I'm trying to make a city diorama here. Uh, because I've been given this nice space to do it all in, which is nice. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I can make a diorama here and do all the animations. Of, but what I like about most people's animations is they're fluent, you know? They, they've got pace. Um, but that's not always what matters to me. I have three S's. It's like a, it's like a rule I have, like, you know, like something I stick to. Now, if you're watching this DGDX animations or Captain McKay Random or Loser King 007 or, you know, whatever animator you are uh, out there and you love animation and figure reviews and all that, I'll tell you my three S's. My three S's are story, you know, it's got to have a story. Second S is scale and third S is setting. So story, you know, what's the story about? What's the point of making animation if it has no story? Scale, you know, if this is my hand, you know, is, uh, you know, say a coffee mug or something is like up to his head and all that, you know, am I, what's the scale? For example, if I take this Iron Patriot without a head, by the way, guys, this is, a, you know, it's, it's a fixable Iron Patriot. If I take an Iron Patriot without a head, put it next to him, you know. And then I add the head and neck to it because I've actually managed to edit my own Marvel Legend figures from the new ones because you know I keep saying the new ones have this. This is from the Iron Man three wave. Anyway, um, but if I talk more about sorry, if I talk more about scale, you know how tall he is. Sorry that I I just need to fix it, but it, that that's pretty much him. If I talk about scale, is that the correct scale? I have to check and all that. So, you know, that's why we all get different figures. Animators get loads of figures because we need to use the correct scale. Otherwise, we could be doing saying a, uh, a Godzilla is the size of his shoulder. You know, that's what I mean. It's got to be the correct scale. And then setting, you know, the environment where he is, all that stuff. Setting is my, you know, third one. Uh, but all these are important to me. So if you want me to see any animations or anything, put it in the description below. Also, I'm doing a new series for animations. I'm doing a Deadpool series, an Iron Man series, maybe an Avengers series, and maybe an X-Men series. Also, a Hulk series as well, and possibly a Spider-Man series. But I need voices from other people. I can't just go around where I live and ask people, you know, for voices or go uh, to work and then ask people to record their voice. Uh, I prefer it if I get them fan voices and all that. So if you want to get in contact with me, you know, just send me a message saying, oh, can I do, you know, can I play as a certain character and all that. I'll just have to see a voice, see if it, you know, see if it suits. And then I'll you know, ask you to record a few things of you doing your voice. I'll extract the, you know, the uh, sound and then add it to the animation, but make sure you're like in a clear environment and all that way with no sounds like you know the soundproof rooms. Anyway, th that's just me talking about uh, uh, about animation, so thank you guys for watching this figure review. If you like the Deadpool figure and if, you look to, if you're looking to get it, go on eBay or Amazon as I said, because Big Bad Toy Store does not sell this. As this figure is quite old, I think it came out in 2012 or 13. Um, but it's quite old. Uh, the new figures are coming out. Can't wait to get them. You know, they look really good. And I can't wait to get the Mark 43 Iron Man figure. Uh, which I thought it only stopped at Iron Man Mark 42. But, you know, nope. Decides to make a new one. Anyway, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Marvel Animations here with another figure review. Who knows who knows what I'm gonna do next? I'm probably gonna do something massive, you know? Uh don't jinx it, that's what most people say, but you know, I would probably do one of the biggest figures, like you know, one of my favorite figures. I'm looking online for more figures. I got the Kyoto Revotech, the Max Factory Figma, the Medicom Mafix. I'm looking at all these new figures and all that, which are great. But I'm looking at more specifically Marvel figures. I might do a few Marvel selects from the, you know, Diamond Select figures and all that sort of stuff. So I'm looking to get figures. But mainly, if you guys have any suggestions, please tell me in the comments below. Because sometimes I think to myself, what figures should I get? I don't mind if they're loose, you know, on eBay or Amazon. I don't mind. But as long as they're in good condition. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you like this video. Hope you subscribe to, to me if you like my videos and you want to keep updated. And if you have anyone else who's, you know, interested in this sort of stuff, you know, tell them about my channel. Because, uh, you know, spread the word. You know, paint the town red, that sort of thing. So thank you for watching Marvel Animation here. My name's Jonathan. If you're getting in touch with me, just call me Jonathan. Um, thank you for watching Marvel Animations. What's going on? Oh no, I'm so getting fired. Hey guys, it's me, Deadpool. If you like this video, click the like button below. If you're like me, you'll be excited to know that Marvel Animations is doing a stop-motion animation series based on most of the Marvel characters, like me! Woohoo! So as Marvel Animations always says, don't forget to comment what you want to see next. See you guys next time. You can see the Punisher figure is slightly taller than him. However, he is much taller than the Series 7 Wolverine from the Toy Biz lineup.